Welcome, welcome viewers or listeners. Welcome to the Paper Bag Podcast. Welcome. First episode. Let's introduce today's topic. School bathrooms. Hmm. There's a lot on this one. Yes. Newspaper just wrote an article on this too. Yes, yes. There's a lot about peeing on the floor. Yeah. And speaking of peeing on the floor, before recording this video, I went to the bathroom, get myself prepped, and I walked in the first stall, as I usually do, and apparently there was pee all over the floor. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to avoid this. Well, I was also greeted by a random can of whipped cream. Huh. I don't know why. Just a can of whipped cream on there. No cap on it. I was like, I don't know. Do you think someone was eating the whipped cream in the bathroom? I hope not. That's pretty gross. I mean. So you think it's gross to just eat in school bathrooms in general? In school bathrooms, yes. I mean, they're pretty unsanitary. Because, like, y you have shelves, so you can just put your food in the bathroom, on the shelf, go to the bathroom, leave, and grab your food. Well, what if you know you're going to be in the bathroom for a while, you know? Why would you? If you're going number two, you know? I don't know. I'm a pretty efficient bathroom user, so I am I try to make it speed quick. Uh, me, myself, I am not an efficient bathroom user. I like to take as much time as I can in the bathroom, because that means... When I'm in the bathroom, I'm not in class, so. I'm the opposite. Because I don't want to miss anything, dude. It's important. Important knowledge. What do people actually do in the bathroom, though? Like, I mean, we know there's there's a whole, like, vaping crisis going on now and everything. So, do you think, what do you think the percentage is of people going into the bathroom to actually use the bathroom versus doing something else? Um... I don't know, but I know the ratio went up just because of the stalls being installed to the urinals and stuff. But right, so now we have stalls in the urinal, which has caused lots of problems. I'm honestly going to give it like a 60-40 percentage. Like I think 60% of the people who go into the bathroom actually use it, but the other 40% uh, um, do not. I want to disagree, but also like my thought process is, well, it's a bathroom. There's a lot of people in the school. A lot of people got to go to the bathroom. But that brings up the topic. A lot of people don't want to go to the bathroom at the school. Yeah. I know people who just will hold it all day and just to not go to the school bathrooms. But I don't, I don't really get that one. Like, I mean, school bathroom, I think it's, I think it's like all bathrooms are unsanitary. That's true. So, like... If you got to go, then you got to do it. It doesn't matter where you are. Okay, so what do, you, what do you do if you're going to the bathroom and someone else comes into the bathroom and they want to use the same stall you're in? What do you say? Well, I'm pretty tall, I think. So I try to make it as obvious as possible that I'm in there. So I'll try to get my feet in their field of vision so I can avoid that whole situation. But if they do knock, I think it's actually of a double meaning so they're knocking but they're also slightly pushing the door to see if it's locked or not so i usually actually just say nothing or maybe they could be if they're knocking they're telling you to hurry up right maybe i could be overthinking it i don't know i think i think the most courteous way like at least what i've heard the politically correct way uh, to say it is just occupied but some people say occupado like a little foreign but uh, honestly i I just get a, I just kind of get scared, and I just don't even say anything. <laughs> right. I mean, like, it's a pretty awkward situation. You're just, it's like having a conversation while you're on the toilet, even though it's only one or two words. Some people, it's risky because if they do knock, the door might not be locked. Yeah, a lot because of some of them, they the don't lock very are, well. A lot of the locks are terrible, honestly, in the school. Like, some of the bathrooms, they don't have working locks. Like, they don't what they don't have soap. Like, I know the three hundred doesn't have soap. Um, like it never has soap. Some of the sinks spray too hard, you know. And yeah. Don't go well, out I, at I all. think I think the soap's like a temporary issue. Like it'll just be out. But once the stall's lock is pretty much broken, you can't really fix it other than if you take it off completely. And I don't think it would be that hard to put locks on, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I've never put a stall door on, thankfully. But I mean, I don't imagine it's a very hard job to just line it up correctly. Yeah. 
Um, but mm-hmm. sinks, yeah, the sinks, there's at least one in every single bathroom that's just different than the others, and no one uses it because it sucks. Okay, so do you have your, do you have your, um, selected spots in the, in the school bathrooms? Like, do you know where to go? No. I have preferences, but I do not have a specific one that I think of. Um, I'll just go to the first one if possible. No one's in there. Um... I mean, I have the ones I like, man. Like, okay. You know, there are some, there are some toilets that you know are rarely dirty or like um, the they have big stall room, you know, a lot of a uh, leg room. But do you? I don't know, man. I I can't really use the, the uh, baby stall. I just feel demoted, like the baby urinal. I use it as a respect thing. So usually it's a baby stall. It's a baby urinal. And then two regular ones. So I, I'll take the, if I'm the first one in there, I'm going to take the baby one just because if I take the baby one, which is on the far left, that opens up another opportunity for another guy to come in. Take the far right. We have our nice separation, and I treat him with a, a nah, man, I, you you gotta You got to take, take the far right for yourself, man. Next to the wall, tall urinal, that's where you want to go. Like, it's just primal. It's primal nature. Just I'm to, not greedy. Well, you know, I I might be in these in these cases. You know, speaking of like primal nature, um, I walked into the the four hundred hall bathroom the other day, and um, <laughs> and there were at least thirty five kids in there making a circle like fighting. Thirty five. Yeah, that I, sounds pretty crowded. Like it, it was it was very crowded and. My adrenaline just got pumping, and I had to fight a little bit, you know? Like, you can't just walk in there and, and just walk out. So you just walked in. You said your friend, like, took your lunch before you came Oh, yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. So my friend took my lunch, um, and he said, oh, yeah, just come into the bathroom with me. And then they were just like, oh, I don't know. It just felt like a ton of paparazzi in there. Like, But I don't, I don't get how people don't notice, like, 40 people just entering the bathroom. Neither do I. I mean, I've never walked in on that before. I mean, but it, it was pretty intense. it was pretty fun though. Like, I think people just people like the entertainment. But man, can you think about having a place to fight <laughs> where you just dispose? About, I, mean, I can't huh? think of a better place to have a fight club. I mean, that's the most yeah. private areas in the school i think but does that not sound a little weird like the place where you go to the bathroom you're gonna be like hey let's just fight people and record it in concept yes yeah that's pretty weird um i mean i think fighting in the bathroom or having a fight club is pretty weird in general i mean i'm a pretty pacifist guy i don't see how people find it that entertaining but to each their own you said you went to the bathroom today and you saw a can of whipped cream yep you think it's empty uh, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't want to leave my full can of whipped cream in the bathroom. Why do you ask? I don't know. You should get it. I, I just want to see if it's empty, because if it's empty, that means someone was definitely eating the whipped cream in the bathroom, you know? You should go get it. Uh, you think it's still sure? there? I mean, you, I could check. Okay. Oh, the whipped cream <laughs> is back, too. <laughs> I've come back with the whipped cream desanitized, both my hands and the can. Okay, he, he uh, desanitized it. It feels pretty it. light. It feels pretty light. Um, let's let's check. I don't know why they wouldn't just throw it in the trash, but... <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> you could have done it into a plate. Well, uh, it is empty. Well, yes, that it is. Oh, I also found out while I was going to the bathroom, it started overflowing after I finished my pee. Like, I... I Push the flush button, and then I looked back and just started overflowing. It turned into an infinity pool of urine. And now looking back, when I grabbed the can, it's because I put the cap inside of the urinal. Now it's clogged. You think they were uh, trying to get rid of something, man? Like something? What would they uh, try to I don't get know. rid of a can, <laughs> a whipped cream <laughs> can? That's th- that's the least sus thing I would ever think of. But it's empty now. I mean, they could just throw it away, but. Do you think the teacher bathrooms are better than the student bathrooms? I they definitely have to be better than the the student bathrooms. Like, I mean, they have a lot more privacy. What, what if 
Schools are having their own fight club. Oh, the teachers? That would be pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I've, you know, I've heard of kids going into the teacher's bathroom and being watched in, walked in by a teacher in the bathroom. But I don't think, could you get in trouble for that? What do you mean? Like, if you went into the bathroom and you were using the teacher's bathroom as a student? Maybe if you had a good reason, I have no idea. Like, you, you play football, you have to stay after school. What if all the bathrooms are locked except for the teacher's ones? I mean, maybe. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? You said that you went into the girls' bathroom around 4 o'clock one day? Yeah, one day after school, the boys' bathrooms were locked, but the girls' wasn't, so... I did. <laughs> I went into the girls' bathroom, at, and I actually ran into a, a girl that I knew in there. <laughs> That's so awkward. Yeah, you know, it wasn't wasn't the best experience I've ever had. So what'd you do? I mean, I just said, "Hey, the the bo- <laughs> the boys' ones are locked." Uh, and then, I mean, the awkward part was when we were go- both going to the bathroom at the same time, and there was just <laughs> silence. <laughs> Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a pretty awkward situation from the start. It's not much you can do. I think you said what had to be said. You know, I heard, like, every time any girl goes into a girl's bathroom, there's always, like, at least one girl crying. Uh, Yes, probably. I mean, on the way to the bathroom, before my whipped cream experience, I ran to Laura Campbell, and she was like, hey, there's a girl just bawling in the girls' bathroom right now. I was like, what's new? She's like, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty bad, though. You know, I think... I don't really know what the girls' bathrooms are like. We should probably talk to some girls about that. You know, some some uh, frequent bathroom users. I think that's a good idea. Get a female perspective. Luke and I have just acquired some frequent bathroom users. What do you think about bathrooms in North? Yeah, why is the bathroom such a high commodity? If you gotta go, you gotta go. Also, it takes girls longer to go. Girls, yeah. I guess girls hydrate really well. I I mean, I feel like sometimes girls go in the bathroom, like, I'll see, like, a few girls in one stall, like, talking or doing whatever. They use the jewelry a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So they just sit in there for a while and then use up a stall and people have to go, so there's a line. A lot of people just go and talk in the bathroom. It's kind of annoying. It's like, can you not talk in the hallway? Obviously, like, it's a stereotype that girls go to the bathroom in groups. Is that common at school? Honestly, no, I really. don't think I've ever gone to the bathroom yeah, with a friend. I just, <laughs> if I have to go, I'm just going to go. I don't wait for people to go with me. Yeah, neither do I. Well, I think that's some weird. people do. Some people are just like I feel that. like when you're out in public, it's less weird. But at school, if you go to the bathroom in a group, that's kind of odd. Yeah. So that was that just, like, a middle school thing? Like, I get Did it. Do they do that in middle school? I don't know. Like, sometimes during lunch... People will be like, come to the bathroom with me, I need to tell you something. So they just like tell a story while they walk to the bathroom. Oh yeah, except for now, I feel like they're way more open, I'll just say it out loud. Sometimes. Because they realize it's kind of dumb. Yeah. What do you say if someone knocks on the stall door you're in? I don't say anything, but it's happened to me before and I just like get up and like serious? wash my hands really quick. Like, never I happened to go me. as quickly or as I can. I can oh, remember I, it vividly. I one like, time I was in a public restroom and someone knocked so I like started moving around to like make a bunch of noise. Yeah, I do that <laughs> I too. To, like, or usually I flush so they can tell I'm in there. Yeah. And then if I still or have to go, flush. like if I still have to pee after that. You know? It's just very awkward. It's yeah. so awkward. I don't say anything though. You know when you like unwrap like a pad, do you how do you conceal the noise? How do you do I it? I just do it really quickly. I just do it super fast. But also we're all girls, so like, like it's I don't still, care. It's still like everyone do gets you, their period. Mm-hmm. Sorry guys. Do you eat in the bathroom? Ew, God no. no. What? Some girls do. do. In the six hundred hall, every day during lunch, or at least last year, I don't stay for lunch anymore. But la- or during North Time, there's always these girls speaking Spanish in the last stall eating their food on the ground. What? I heard like Anytime any girl goes into the bathroom, there's at least one girl crying in the bathroom. <laughs> girls do cry in the bathroom true? a lot, and I don't know what like it's I about. Yeah, just do it out loud. Like, girls just cry a lot. Cry. Girls are emotional. Okay, I think that's a wrap. Uh, tune in next time for our next episode on uh, meme culture and modern humor. Paperback podcast out. <laughs>